They left behind a, a ball today. It bounced higher than I can jump. What manner of magic is that? VO3 is truly opening a new chapter for animation. And honestly, can you believe that all these incredible videos with stunning animations were conjured up from just a few sentences of prompts? Mind-blowing, isn't it? Let's get started. All right, let's begin by mastering Flow's core functions. First, let's learn about the ingredients to video mode. One of the biggest headaches in AI video creation is consistency, right? Flow's ingredients feature is key to solving this. First, preparing high quality ingredients is crucial. Images with clean backgrounds or character images with various angles and expressions work best. Now, if you're creating those crucial ingredients for Flow, Google has tools for this. For example, Whisk, which is powered by the impressive Imogen 4 model. With a tool like Whisk, you can use precise text prompts to generate high-quality logos, icons, or even stylized character concepts perfect for ingredients. Just type your prompt in the prompt box and click the arrow button down below. So, I just create a few images for our time-traveling hamster, Chrono. After tweaking the prompt and generating it just a couple of times, I got this brave and curious Chrono that perfectly matches the concept I was going for. And I also generated a few more images for the mysterious backgrounds Chrono will explore and some interesting objects he might discover in his story. So we're combining our visual ingredients with our detailed text recipe to cook up a unique video. Let's select our ingredients Input our descriptive prompt and generate a video with this mode. And there's something you should know before we hit generate, especially when you're using the ingredients mode. Google themselves recommend using VO3. In Flow, this means you'll want to make sure you've selected the highest quality setting to get the best possible results with your ingredients. Now, let's gear up for what is truly one of Google VO3's most revolutionary and highly anticipated features, native audio generation. Where were you on the night of the bubble bath? <laughs> What's one move with AI that makes haters go crazy every time? Oh, y'all gotta give them that. This is wild. It's over. We are cooked on that thread. You get me? This is wild. I'm AI generated by VO3. Nothing is real anymore. Recent studies have revealed that microplastics are being found in human testicles, raising concerns. You can never about trust the these studies. On male reproductive health. Please, don't finish writing that prompt. I don't want to be in your AI movie. Please, leave me alone. Yes, you heard that right. We're talking about generating not just breathtaking visuals, but also intricate soundscapes, dialogue, custom sound effects, and even fitting background music, all woven together directly from your text prompts. Now, let's dive back into Flow's text-to-video mode. Basically, you include instructions in your prompt, like a pretty Gen Z beauty streamer says, welcome to my get ready with me. Welcome to my get ready with me. I've got this really quirky and kind of whimsical idea that I just had to try. And don't forget to check before we hit generate, always make sure your Flow setting is set to VO3. Thank you. 
Okay, once you've generated several individual video clips, perhaps using the ingredients mode or simple text-to-video, the next crucial step is to weave them together into a compelling narrative. That's where Google Flow's Scene Builder comes into play. Let's get our generated clips into the Scene Builder. Just hover over the clip to see the button that says Add to the Scene. You can use these handles here to trim the clips in your scene. Now, click the plus button on the right and select Jump To button to create Next Scene. This feature uses the power of Gemini to understand how your previous clip ended to seamlessly generate the next one in the sequence guided by your prompt. Use this plus button and select Extend and add a prompt to extend the clip that you are working with to make longer scenes. I extended the previous clip and add the scene him putting the map back into his bag. Once you have all of your clips generated, you can also rearrange them in the sequence with this button. Then you click here and download your scene. So that is your quick introduction to getting started with Flow. We're incredibly excited to see what you create.